what I'm doing at this point is I'm if if I if I decide to bind the neck with a nice clean wrap around binding, which can be either a single binding or a double a folded double binding, I need to know the measurement of the neck at the seam line. So what I've done is I've folded the t-shirt in half and then I'm going to use a half inch seam allowance and I'm eyeballing that. You could mark it if you really wanted to. And you walk your tape measure around. Okay, there I get it. Double it. So here I have got Oh, let's call it uh, 22 and a half inches, maybe 20, 22 and a quarter inches is what my neck measures. So depending on what I'm going to use, if I'm going to use something, see that doesn't have a lot of stretch. So if I want to use this single layer, I'm going to cut this quite a bit smaller than my neck. And of course, the 64 kazillion dollar question is, what is the right proportion of binding to neck? And my answer is, I wish I could give you a scientific formula for it. But um, what I find helps me is this, is if I take my neck edge, which is basically a circle, and I divide it into quarters, like so. I play with my fabric, essentially. So I might take this piece of fabric if I think, OK, I'm going to do a binding and I'm going to wrap it around and it'll stick up a little bit, maybe. That could be kind of pretty. Um, how, how tight do I want it to be? Now, earlier when I was fitting myself, I sort of skimmed over, well, what if the neck is too wide? Or what if you cut your neck and, oh my gosh, it's too big all of a sudden? Well, one of the ways you can draw your neck in, it, your neck edge in, is with a binding. And can you see if my binding is pretty tight, if I really draw it in a lot, then it'll kind of scooch the neck in. This is where experience really helps because um, I have redone a lot of neck neck edges. But let me give you a little bit more concrete info than that. So let's kind of line these up on a one-to-one -one ratio. So this just enables me to work with a smaller amount. Okay. So that tells me, measure that. Okay, that measures about four and a half inches. So if I double that, and then double that again, that's 18 inches. So it's already 3 and a half inches smaller than my neck. So I might start there. And, um, you know, make, so I would, I would make my binding and join it together in a circle, and then put it up against my, my neck, and if I have a sense when I get it on there that it looks like it's not pulling enough, then I just make my circle smaller. So there is a certain amount of trial and error here. Um, and I'm showing you the binding in sheer fabrics, but it could just as easily be uh, my any knit fabric at all. It could be lengthwise grain, crosswise grain. It could be a woven bias. It could be double. So here is, here's another shear, another possibility where I could bind double, and this is exactly the way I play with it, is I'll say, okay, let's see how that width would work. Let's bind, let's sew it, wrap it around, and that's the way the binding would look in that. Oh, I really like that. I think this is the one I want to use.